Hello everybody and thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're going to do a flip through and first impressions of the Tarot of Vampires or Vampires. However you want to say that right there. This is a Llewellyn deck so it's your typical clasp box. Pretty huge. Ooh fancy. Look at this rose. Dang man if these were the backings of the cards. Whoo child this book right oh my god this is a pretty ooh these packings this is a that was a pretty heavy book right there wow this is so pretty okay we'll put you right there let's look at this huge book it feels nice and mat surrender to your spiritual hunger this is pretty hefty there's a lot in here. Because it's like, how many pages is this book? Um, 300 pages. <laughs> Alright, well that's going to be a lot of reading to do. But let's look at these cards. Alright, so this is the beautiful backing, which I love. That's not reversible, because you can tell by the flower. She'll know what I mean, but that's okay. It's a uh, typical cardstock from Llewellyn's deck. It's really flimsy. Excuse me, not the best. And I'm probably going to edge this in black as well. Jeez, why are you yelling? <laughs> so angry. Oh, this is a very pretty dress. Girl, will you get that dress? Whoa, this hero font. Whoa, look at this chariot. Holy crap. This looks awesome. And they got a crab on their chest. Yes, cancer. I'm a cancer, by the way. Oh, this hermit. Looks cool. Look at that wolf. Dash bad ass. Bad ass. Ooh, rainbows. I love rainbows. Nice. Holy crap, look at this hanged man. Oh my god, there's like stuff coming out of his mouth. Okay. I like the imagery though. It's right up my alley. Even like the colors that they're using here. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that skull back there. Now we're on the Minor Arcanas, Ace of Scepters, hmm, I'm not sure which one this is going to be, either Wands or Swords, I'm thinking Wands, but we'll see once we see the other ones, oh this might be, I think this is Wands. She's going to get messed up if that's all she has. What is that? 
They look like they have like tattoos on their butt. That's cool. Oh, I like this. The shading, how they did on the eye right here. That's awesome. Lord of Scepters. Is this the king? Yeah, okay. Now we have Queen of Scepters. Daughter of Scepters? Prince of Scepters, Daughter of Scepters. You can't say princess, huh? Ace of Grails. All right, well, Grails are cups, right? Oh, I love the red in here. Like the reflection that's in there or the lighting that they put in there. is cool. Didn't the other lord have a horse in it? I can see how that can be confusing to the knight as opposed to like the king card. All right, now we're on the knives. So then the scepters were the wands then because knives are the swords. trapped right there oh well those those people are dead because they're just skeletons right there dang oh geez she done got stabbed yeah see this lord of knives is also on a horse so that can be a little bit confusing to knights just because most of the knight cards do have them on horses. This is really cool by the way because it's like, it's all white. Ooh, he looks like a ninja. Next one should be pentacles. Ooh, I like this. This is really pretty. Look at this bluish purple. That's so beautiful. I love it. So the skulls are the pentacles.
I don't know if each of the cards that we've seen all have hidden zodiac and planetary symbols. Is she a werewolf? Because I was like, girl, your feet look pretty long. She has to be. Yeah, she is a werewolf. Because, like, the way the feet look, I'm like, that doesn't look normal. Look at this Lord of Skulls, again on a horse. My camera keeps getting super bright and then not so super bright. Very nice. All right, let me zoom you guys out so we can do a souffle test. Oop, wrong way. And then do comparison for sizes. Is it? Is this card damaged? <gasps> what is this? No. What is that? It is damaged. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Cool. So it's just like an extra piece of folded paper. Damn, I was about to have a heart attack. I'll have to like take that off carefully because it's sticking out card flap it here let me put you let me just put you over here to make sure i don't forget all right let's do the size comparison normal tarot size all right so it's not that it's not that small to the normal tarot size It fits comfortably in the hand for overhand. It should shuffle pretty well this way too. One, because the cardstock is also kind of flimsy. At least for me, it doesn't make it as hard to shuffle that way. I know if the cardstock is a bit stiff, it's harder for me to shuffle it this way, just because of like trying to bend the card. All right, let's put this back here and I so I don't forget to fix that. Look at that. What is that, guys? What is that? I gotta remember to fix it. Anywho, that was it for this flip through and first impressions of the Tarot of Vampires or Vampires. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.